Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Ife. Um, um, I work for Cardiff and Vale. I'm one of the doctors in Cardiff and Vale. Um, and Callum and Callum's one of also works in Cardiff and Vale. Um, we were part of the cohort six, um, and um, there were seven of us in our group, and we all came from very different backgrounds. So me being a doctor on the clinical side in Cardiff and Vale, Callum, the non-clinical side. We had um, other members who were from the National um, Welsh National Museum um, who worked in the design and also worked with the other, other departments within there. Um, we also had from Caffili Council as well. Um, and the whole idea, we all came together because we, we, we essentially didn't really um, we all had similar problems, which is, what, first of all, at the, at the beginning of this was, what is circular economy? Because um, that means different things for different organisations to, to try and gain an engagement. Um, and um, we all came together thinking, OK, so if, if we know kind of what circular economy is, how can we get people within our organisation to, to actually um, engage with it and, and define it? So with us, I put up there that our challenge is engage. And it was something which Jill and Katie hated from the start, really. Um, we, what we were trying to do is really just sort of say, how can we get people in within our organizations to get involved in the circular economy? Because to most people, it's a really abstract, uh, abstract concept with a lot of other competing priorities. Like particularly within the health service, we found that you know, people may not even necessarily know what decarbonisation or climate change is, but we just wanted to try and get the whole breadth of the organisation involved, which is sort of a really, really broad and general challenge. So this shows a couple of iterations of what the things which we were trying to consider as part of our um, as part of our challenge. And you'll see on the, the the sort of one on the left, the top one is literally how might we engage people around circular economy. Um, and we sort of just built on that platform, really. Um, and then our final sort of concept for our challenge was about how might we discover uh, effective means of shaping knowledge about the circular economy for decision makers so that enable them to make good changes. So we were focusing more around the high level um, or the senior people within the organizations to see how they could sort of help facilitate the change um, across the whole organization and uh, basically how we can build that from the top down rather than bottom up. Um, and what we were, I think we've touched on this a bit, what we were trying to achieve was, um, or we all had in common was the road, roadblocks in terms of trying to achieve it. So at the moment, for example, within, within our health board, um, first of all, circular economy and sustainability. Um, so in health board or the clinical sense, we say sustainability and and if you try and speak to most people with the health board, they, and you say circular economy, they don't actually know the relationship between it. Um, and um, a lot of the time is people are doing things in silos within health boards. Um, and also, while they're doing it in silos, they're always finding roadblocks and they tend to not, you know, it tends to stop them from achieving whatever small goals they're trying to achieve within the organisation. There was also a lack of awareness within all our organisations of, exactly what circular economy was um, and for for the for instance of sustainability and the, the link between circular economy and su sustainability um, wasn't enough information um, on our different platforms um, in terms of where, where we all get information within our organizations and the, the key one was the definition so how can we define what what it is because a lot of people were, were asking what is circular economy what is sustainability and how how are you able to kind of define it to get their engagement and basically get them to, to action what we're talking about. Um, and we all thought it was important because we're all moving to in that direction of circular economy. There's no, there's no way around it. So we need, to this, we need to start with this. So this is how we sort of plan to develop our implementation and we're not, we're not there yet. We're, we're on our journey, um, which I think a lot of people sort of tend to find at the end of the process they're, they're part of the way there. But we've, we've identified all of our stakeholders and that was a bit of a challenge within the various organisations. 
and developed unique engagement strategies. So as you can imagine, the health service and the museums are very different organisations. Um, and there's various levels of engagement and um, sort of uh, being able to get the, that senior management um, to sort of take this seriously. We've developed the pilot strategy and we're reviewing the feedback of that at the moment. But moving forward, we want to develop a video. So this is going to be a, a generic video with very specific elements at the end around each of the organizational um, criteria. Once we've finished that video, we're just going to sort of continue to socialize the documentation and the, and the materials which we produce and try and obtain the views and engagement figures around that, that information just so we can make sure that we're pitching it at the right level and we're getting uh, the level of responses which we require. So further to that then, we just want to engage with external partners to further share that video, particularly around the generic um, side of things, to try and make it as a, like we said earlier on, that unified view about what we think within our organizations are going to be. Um, some of the challenges we, we, we had was, I think, one that's not really on here is, is first of all, um, we, we all didn't really understand what circular economy was. Um, and going through the, you know, this kind of process of going through the cohort, um, that definition kind of morphed and revealed itself. So we got to kind of our challenge almost, you know, in the later half of, of going through the process. Um, which led to, you know, us having a lot of time pressures to trying to achieve a lot of the things we were trying to achieve. Um, there was um, um, commitment and, and, and engagement within the group. Um, it was difficult. We all had different, you know, pressures in terms of work um, and, and life. Um, different organisational backgrounds was a good and also kind of a barrier as well um, because, it, was, it made it very difficult to have a unified definition um, or unified um, 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 goal in terms of how we wanted to, to define a circular economy. Um, we also had a very wide range of um, stakeholders, for example, those in the, in, you know, in the museum, that worked in the museums and those within, like for example, um, Cardiff and Vale Health Board, the people who um, are the main stakeholders of very different or have different priorities so it made it different difficult to kind of um, come up with with our definition um, and it was I think we've kind of realized halfway or at the, at the end of it that there's there's no one different um, there's no one unified approach to it um, and that was going to catch everything that we want to catch like you know catch everybody um, everybody's a different backgrounds so We'll end on some positives because we've probably talked quite negatively throughout this presentation. But, um, you know, although there's a lot of challenges, I think we've all felt like there's some, been some massive benefits for us like as organisations and for our general understanding about what circular economy is, but also personally, you know, I th we feel that the process has allowed us to sort of grow within our careers and, and within our, our own roles as well. So, but... The, the things which we've taken from it is the community. So like, uh, we've, we all felt within our cohort that as a wider team, we really did develop a good bond with the other teams um, and sort of bouncing ideas off each other, working out how we could go, you know, go further and, and sometimes explaining to each other what some of these things meant in our own, um, in our own heads. Um, the team working, so anyone who's been on the cohort knows about all the challenges um, which have been that you have to undertake, uh, and we found that like a really, a really useful tool for us um, uh, as individuals. Learning about individual behaviours, so I, I personally reflected quite a lot on this when we did some of our behaviours. Um, Jill said to me before I'd even done a couple of things, I know exactly where you are, and I know exactly where you're going to come out as, and I did as well. So. Um, yeah, so she definitely knew me better than I felt like I knew myself, to be honest. Um, understanding other organisations' challenges. So, you know, I think we can become very insular within our own organisations and say, I know what my challenges are, I know how to tackle this, but sometimes we don't really understand how hard it is for other people, but understanding that was, was really useful. Seeing the other challenges of the cohorts, and particularly when we've had other cohorts from our own, so we had... Um, the other side of co uh, cohort seven 
coming in with us and understanding their challenges as well and having a totally different perspective. I think that, as I said, like a wide range of people's views and understandings and what they're looking to achieve has been really useful for understanding the, the difficulties, the challenges, but also the, the benefits which can come out of the circular economy. Um, learning the success is not necessarily measurable and tangible. As I said, like it's been, we, we haven't sort of reached the conclusion of our project yet, but the benefits which we've got and the positive outcomes which we've generated as a result of having this has just has been sort of really useful for us anyway, regardless of the outputs of, of, the, um, of the project. But increasing awareness of the circular economy is obviously the aim of the game in terms of this project, and we felt that us as individuals, people within our organizations who are particularly close to us, but we've been able to really expand that knowledge, understanding, and try and get that awareness of circular economy out to the wider uh, organizations. So we haven't got a slide, but thanks. And if you've got any questions, let us know.